Hello viewers, how are you guys doing? Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you guys five livestock farming that you can invest your money into it. Five livestock farming that you can start or that can invest your money into it and at the same time you will make a lot of money from it. And I also believe that you guys know that in any business there is an, an, an advantage and also there is a disadvantage of that business. If you understand that for sure then there is nothing that will stop you from investing your money into a livestock farming or into agriculture generally as a whole. So right now I'll just be listing some five livestock farming that has been generating incomes from time past to people whereby a lot of people are into it and there are still millions of people that are neglecting that particular aspect and you guys know that the purpose of us creating this youtube channel in the first place is to teach you guys and to make sure that you guys are aware of all these livestock stuff although most of them is what we normally do and what we normally post in our youtube channel so that brought me to the first aspect of the livestock farming which is goat farming goat farming has been a very lucrative on, on farming for a farmers you know for agricultural farmers for someone like me because i I also have a goat farm and you guys believe that I normally post a video regarding a goat farm in my YouTube channel just that I stopped for a while the reason is we have some few issues some crises in the farm during that time you know we people that we trusted that are going to be taking care of the farm for us disappointed us so that was the reason why you can't trust anybody in, when, when it comes to farming when it comes to keeping your lifestyle you can't trust anybody the only thing you can do is monitor your farm by yourself make sure you are going there to check it time without time like going there probably if you can make it time twice in the week four times in the day to go and check the farm make sure you check it and your location that you do your farming also matter so i will be diverting from what i brought to you guys today which is five livestock farming so that was the reason why we couldn't um continue that farm we need to stop it in a little way but right now we have gotten a new land closer to us whereby we are starting up the farm very very soon i will return back to how the farm system has been before so we'll keep on updating you guys posting new videos for you guys to watch and you guys are still going to learn a lot of things from us so like i said five livestock farming that i can do number one is a goat farming which i've talked about it goat farming is very lucrative on livestock farming that generates income for people it's capital intensive anyway not too on um, big as far as if you are not starting with the high bridge right if you are starting with something like the local bridge you are going to spend less but if you are starting with something like the high bridge you are going to spend more to attain your purpose of doing that business so the purpose of you doing that business and the goal that you are seeing in it will determine the one that you are going for okay for people that want an improved bridge or that want a better bridge or that want to emphasize or keep on giving a better bridge then i would advise you to go for an, an high bridge because those type of ones they will be a very good bridge if you want to do it um, um, bridging if you want to on focus on that area by doing breaking yourself go for the hybrid they are going to give a better result because at the end of the day you can use the hybrid to produce a pure hybrid and also at the same time you can do a cross breeding between the hybrid and our african dual or sokoto red and they will give you something we call the color word right so try that watch out for that and i'm going to see how you are going to make more money from that area and if you didn't have money you want to start as a beginner i will always advise you to start small start with the local bridge all right when you start with the local read or join the soldier red read just to improve on the local read right as the time goes on you start increasing all right and you know goats give back twice in a year right so if you maintain your farm very well they are going to do very well as far as you have an adequate or room your room is very okay for them i mean you build a very good pen for them I know goats doesn't normally love where it's cold. They love where it's warm and hot. So that will be if you are building, put that um, area of construction into construction very, very well. 
build a very good house. In such a way, if you watch a lot of videos, you can see that people are building their house, they are building an upstairs house. Whereby, even if the weather condition changes, it won't affect your wood diamond. So, if you want to build, you can build a house whereby you raise it from the floor. Alright, if you raise the house from the floor, it will be better. And if you didn't have money for that, you can build the normal on, on, uh, on the ground house whereby inside then you put all what we call the shaving wood all this shaving wood you put it there for that room to be kind of in order to generate heat for your wood and your wood will be living okay okay so that is by the way about wood farming although in as much as it's can in as much as it's profitable and lucrative it also have some risks in that aspect as well which i believe that people will have an idea if you don't have an idea it's like whenever you are keeping them during rainy season time rainy season normally affects goats a lot yes it affects goats a lot for people that are uh, i mean that want to join this business for the first time please i want you guys to put that also know that rainy season time it normally affects goats a lot because that is when the goats will be sick they will be cold they will be everything so that's the reason why if you are building your house build it very well and make sure you vaccine them make sure you vaccinate your wood before allowing them to graze on any pastures make sure you vaccinate them that is very very important so that brought me to the number two livestock farming that you can join your money or that you can invest your money into which is grass cutter i know a lot of people have an idea of that i've talked about that severally in my videos you know tell you guys about how lucrative this livestock is and sometimes i don't normally talk about the marketing aspect so let's start with the marketing aspect of the grass cutter grass cutter in as much as they reproduce and they are very lucrative marketing aspect is one of the difficult area in that aspect so if you are trying or if you want to go into that business please put marketing period i will put marketing of that particular grass cutter to consideration because it matters a lot but the essence of you going into a business or doing a business at the end of the day you can be able to sell that particular stuff out so if you want to do any business please try in as much as possible try to you know join people you know find information go from one places to another get a putter, get a customer down so that whenever your things are ready you will be able to market it easily to them okay and if you want to get a colony of grass water please do have to reach out to me but like i told you guys it's very very expensive now grass water are very very expensive now okay so if you still want to get it you can reach out to me we'll get a better breed for you and you start making money from it and it's very easy to keep you know it's not something like any other lifestyle that you need to have a very big space in short in one of your spare room they are not using you can just get a cage and we sell those cages as well and just get a cage all this fabricated cage you get them you put them there and if you want to want, i mean increase your farm you can do the concrete house here where you keep your grass cutter and they'll start reproducing well for you so the number three is fish fish farming fish is very very lucrative also profitable and it's good and short is the one of the common business that a lot of people are able doing now because it's easy to start and it's easy to maintain to make all right so and there are different aspects of this fish farming you can go into it as someone that will be doing on um, um let me just hashery okay you can go into it as someone that will be hashery whereby you learn everything about the hashery aspect you just go get a tutor someone that will teach you very well how to do the hashery you want to learn on that if you want someone that can teach you i have someone that can teach you in that area you just pay your commission and he'll teach you how you can hash your fish you can go into that area as an hash whereby you'll be hashing your fish and you'll be selling the fingerlings to people or juvenile and even though you are making 10 10 naira on top of each of them you know how much you make in a month and in the time i mean in the year as well okay put that into condition another aspect of it is you can actually start it up at your backyard whereby you get a, I mean a bath or tampoli pond or empty pond, concrete pond. You can start it. All right, it's easy to start all those stuff. If you want to get, if you are not doing it in the commercial, you can also start this little one at the back and see how the farming system goes before you increase your stuffs. Okay, so that is by the way about far on cattle farming. Like I told you guys, it's lucrative and profitable if at all you have time and the energy to do it. Then the number four is pigry. Pigry is one of the livestock that reproduce more. In short, we are talking about livestock. One of them that I mean that give birth much is pigry. A lot of all this um, grass cutter we think grass cutter doesn't even give birth to pig. You can't compare grass cutter with pig. 
kids give birth a lot. One pig can give birth to 5, 15, 16, 10 on, on I mean piglets at once. So that shows you that if you want to start up this type of farming, you can start it in a smaller way. And before you know, you I mean the thing will grow bigger. Okay, when you get like four or three pigs and they are giving it like ten, you know, before you know you meet up and everywhere will be food, your farm will be filled with pigs, okay, or with piglets rather. So keep that into consideration. Just that the capital to start it up is very expensive. Yes, it's very expensive because you need to build and if you are building, you are not building the olden days um, house, you are building the modern days house of pig. Which way by the facility will be there, the water, the drink cans, the feeder, everything needs to be complete in order for them to prevent any type of disease that can happen to your pig. Okay? So pig farming is one of the livestock ones that I want you guys to think about and make sure you join into it and do it and see how far it will take you. Then the number five or four, it will be on poultry. Yes, I think that is the last one, poultry. Poultry farming is one of the livestock business that has been generating income for people. Although it has a very high rate, I understand that perfectly. I know that we all know that poultry has a very high rate. But have you ever thought of it before? In as much as it has a high rate, and in short, of people that are even doing it now, due to the fact that the feed itself that they consume are very expensive. But there are still thousands of people that are still inside this business. So that shows you that they are still making money from it. That is the reason why they are relevant in that area. I then mean if they are not making any money from it, then they would have stopped it and you know pick something um, I mean something else. But it seems that there is still something that they are making from it. That was the reason why they are there. Although I know that there are some um things that doesn't um, normally worth our time or money or energy or anything but i think there are some risks that that that, 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 that do worth our time what our money and what our risks so if poultry is one of the i mean it's one of the lifestyle that really worth your time worth your energy and worth your money then please do what to try it try it out and see how it goes although i know that the feed are expensive and we all are trying to to to, to, I mean, to pick out or to check out what we can do to reduce the stuff okay but that is the reason why you need to go into farming because that's the only way you can reduce the cost when you are producing the feed yourself when you are planting your your maize your soya beans and the rest of the soil so the remaining things for you to add it up is just the additive like all this on on my tunin, the like seeing the vitamin c the um the I mean the 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 toxic powder and the rest of the stuff. Those are the additive that you can add up to your feed if you have the necessary materials that are present. Okay, so please put that into consideration as well and think about it. people are making money from poultry, especially in times of layer farming. People are making it, and if you want to try layer as a backyard and see how it goes. If you normally enjoy it, you can try it, okay? And if you want us to start up any type of all, or I mean, all these lectures that I mentioned, if you want us to start any type of thing for you, or if you want to start up the farm at any stage, we are always here for you. We are to service. We will make sure we deliver a very good service for you, and you love what we are going to do, okay? If you are looking for any type of thing, and if, for example, if you are looking for all this on on battery case system, duplicate case, everything, you want to do it, please do want to reach out to me. In short, I even have a contact to someone that sells the fabricated battery case system house for layers, which is um, a little bit cheaper than the imported one. And in short, if you see what it does, is perfect like an imported one as well. So if you want to get that, please do want to reach out to us and we will definitely help you out with that. And please, please, I'm begging you guys, Please always drop your comment. If you have anything or if anything is confused to you, please drop your comment. We will always reply to your comment. That's the only thing you can do to assist us. When you subscribe to our YouTube channel, when you drop your comment and when you keep on giving us like and sharing our videos, you are helping us to grow as well. Please, in as much as we are passing the little knowledge that we pass to you guys, please do go to help us by liking our videos and keep on sharing our videos with general person that you think that they have interest in it the reason why most of our videos we are doing it indoor is most of the farm are far from us and we don't have the capital to start everything at once we only have the knowledge and also go out to do 
people, I mean to construct all these samples of people, we only have few of the stuff. So our, and our farm is very, very far from us. That was the reason most of our, my videos, let me put it that because my colleagues, his video is kind of practical. So and I will try and work out something whereby all my videos will be based on practical because I believe that if you guys have seen what we are talking about, it will be better and to explain more on that area. Okay, I will try to improve on our videos and everything we are doing here. Okay, so please keep on sharing our videos. I think that this video is good enough. Kindly give me a thumbs up and share this video and bye for now.